Hey guys, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks. And on today's Editing Tip Tuesday, I want to show you how you can add a soft center light into your photo in Lightroom. Now before I get started, I would love to know in a comment below, what editing program do you love to use the most? Now, I think a lot of you know I'm a big Photoshop user, but I do love getting into Lightroom every once in a while, so I think this will be a fun tutorial. Now, this one was actually brought to you by Chris Baker with Chris Baker Photography. She was the top place photo in the 52-week Cozy Clicks Photo Challenge a couple weeks back over in my Facebook group. Let me pull up that photo right now for you so you can see a little bit of Chris's work. Now, if you'd like to know how to take part in that challenge, you can by clicking the link in the description below or just by going to CozyClicks.com forward slash challenge. Now, Chris was telling me that part of her editing workflow is including a soft center light. So I'm going to show you just how to do that in Lightroom. Now, the first thing you want to do is make sure you are in develop mode. And then you're going to choose the radial filter, which is the one, two, three, four, fifth one over here, right here. It just looks like a circle with a dot in it. So we're going to select that there. Now, what the soft center light is going to do is it's really going to focus in on your subject. So it's going to put a little extra light right on them and then fade slowly away. So you're going to take your cursor with that radial filter selected and we're just going to drag that to surround our subjects. Now when we do that you'll see there's these four squares that pop up within that circle. You can take and you can adjust that radial filter to really match how you want that filter to look. So if you'd like it more oval like this, you can have it come in that way or you can drag it out so it's a little farther out. I think it's going to look a little more natural if we bring it out a little more. So I'm going to do that there. And I'm also going to hit invert on here and I'm going to feather this radio filter out a little bit so it helps it look a little more natural. Now that I have those things in place, what I'm going to do is add in my light and I'm going to do that in a couple different ways. For this one, I'm going to take my exposure slider here and I'm just going to bring that slightly to the right. You can see as I bring that more and more over, there's more and more light that comes into the photo. But if you look, it's just right here in the center. Now, this is obviously too much exposure, so I'm going to drop that down quite a bit, but I am going to add enough in to give it a little extra light. Now, you could also do this by adjusting your highlights or your shadows or your whites or your blacks in your photo to get the light that you want in your picture. Now, I kind of like it like this. I might add a little extra exposure just to just to give a little extra light in there for this tutorial. Once you have it to a spot where you like it, you're going to hit close and that will take that circle off there. And then let's take a look at our before and after. So here's the before and there's the after with that soft center light that's just focused right in on the girls. So pretty easy and it makes a big difference in the light in your photo. You give it a try and see how you like it on your photos. And if you do and you're over on Instagram, as always, I love seeing your results with these tutorials. So make sure to mention or tag me at Cozy Clicks. And I'm always checking your workout over there. Now, I always appreciate your likes and comments on my YouTube videos. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, I would love it if you would. Thanks so much for watching today. And if you would like to see more of Chris Baker's work, you can by going to CozyClicks.com forward slash center. See you next time. If you'd like to join me in my new portrait editing online workshop, you can for free. You can register in the link below or by going to CozyClicks.com forward slash the workshop. Hope to see you over there.